Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you very, very much for tuning in today. Um, this is your reading for mid-November 2019. And I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers once again because, you know, every time I post a new batch of these videos, that, that number just shoots up and I get so excited. Like, I even like scream to my husband, oh my gosh, it's at 70. Every time it shoots up, I scream to my husband. I'm like, oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> so I just want to thank you guys. Like, it, it just really makes me so happy to know that I am helping. Um and reaching people. And also, if you have any special requests for a specific reading, you know, it doesn't even have to be a horoscope reading, just any kind of reading, please let me know because I am open to do anything right now. Um, also, there is a link down below to my music channel, which are songs that I sang and produced on GarageBand, actually on my phone. So I wrote them, I composed them, and they're on a separate channel. But um, check that out and let me know what you think. So let's go ahead and get started here. Um, so first one I was noticing was the woman holding a coin in reverse, okay? So what came to me was like, if, if this is you, Virgo, um, possibly feeling worried about finances or health, um, or you have a lack of value for yourself, okay? You don't show yourself enough appreciation, okay? You're criticizing yourself a lot. Um, a lot of self-doubt. Um, but this could also very well be a woman in your life who may not have your best interest in mind, okay? Maybe asking for, for money a lot, someone in your life who you have to um, support financially a lot. Um, or if you have like a female boss, they're not paying you what you deserve. Um, or just a woman who, who criticizes you, right? Um, makes you doubt your own value. Um, or these could be energies from a woman in the past that are still with you, like someone who treated you horrible during your childhood, teenage years, whatever. And those negative energies and um, toxic words, things that were said to you are still lingering, okay? Which could be making you doubt yourself, okay? So that was what I noticed there. And then right next to it, let's see. We have the fifth chakra, okay, Archangel Gabriel, and it's reversed. You're afraid to stand up for yourself, um, cannot speak your true feelings because of this self-doubt or, or this person has, you know, put this in you and you're afraid to stand up for yourself. Um, or maybe you rely on this person financially, okay, or you rely on them for something or your own insecurities are stopping you from being your true self, okay? And it could also very well, I mean, maybe because of how I said, possibly feeling worried about finances or health, you could actually have a physical throat problem here, okay? But definitely feeling like you cannot speak your truth. You've, you've been shut down so many times or there's something stopping you from standing up for yourself. You know, maybe this is someone really important to you, someone you do love, but at the same time, they're very toxic to you, Okay. That, that happens all the time. Um, and then also we have the woman holding a heart in reverse, okay? Emotionally overwhelmed, Virgo, okay? This could be difficulty in a family matter. This could be a close friendship, like I was saying. If this is a person in your life, there's some emo emotional difficulty and you're overwhelmed, okay? This could also be that woman who brings a negative emotional influence to your life. Jealousy, resentment, manipulation, blocking love from your life, okay, whatever way that may be. Um, or it could very well just be you doing this to yourself, okay, because of things that have happened to you in your life, um, you've restricted yourself from things emotionally. Um, and, you know, there, there could be some kind of, that could be causing tension within a family, um, in a relationship, anything. Okay. And I also see here, cause we have patience. You've been very patient with this person. If this is an actual person who's causing this negative energy in your life, you've been very patient with them. Um, 
or you're or be, you've been really patient with your own toxic emotions and you've let it go on for too long like that little voice in your head that's talking you down that's that's making you feel terrible about yourself like you've been really patient with it <laughs> you've let it go on for a long time okay um or this person you've let them walk all over you for a long time okay and I think because you've been so patient, I feel like you're realizing it's gone on for too long because something in the cards here, I'm even saying something is about to change dramatically, okay? Because we have the storm warning. So it's like you are about to stand up for yourself and take action, um, which is, you know, will most likely cause tension and disagreement with whoever is involved. And if it's you, that, you know, you're, you're getting sick of this, your, your ego telling you, you know, how horrible you are, all those fearful thoughts, like all that stuff that you just, that junk inside of you, you cannot stand. You know, it's about to kind of come into this storm of cleansing and getting rid of like, this is what you're doing or standing up for yourself when it comes to this person in your life. Okay. It's a storm of emotion, clearing, purging, toxic energy. Um, but it's definitely something's coming to, you know, an end here because we, you know, the storm's going to lead to something ending because we have a contract here that's reversed. Um, so a connection that may be ending that you're, you're finally ready to get out of your life here. It doesn't, if it's someone you care about, it doesn't even necessarily mean it's ending for good. It's just someone that you are telling, like, you can't walk all over me. I love you, but you can't treat me like this anymore. I can't take it. It's not fair. Okay. And there might be separation from this person for a period of time, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be gone for good unless that's what you want. If that's something, you know, that's take that how it resonates, because if that's something you do want, if you want something to be done for good, then there it is there. Um, and then once all this happens, right, this storm, and you might be very well going through this right now, okay? Um, we have the door to spirit, which means new beginnings, deeper understanding of your true self, um, deep changes within you, possibly, you know, a deeper connection to the spirit world itself, realizing abilities and qualities that you weren't aware of before because you were just restricted. You were in the space of being restricted because if, if this person was you know, consuming all of your energy and time, or if those negative emotions were consuming that energy and time, you weren't open to really looking at other things and the store wasn't open for you at that time. Um, it's all within you, right? So it's like, you know, more intuition, ins inspiration. You, you've made space, you went through the storm, you got rid of something that wasn't serving you and you've opened a new door to something absolutely amazing, okay? Realizing things that you never even knew were possible for you, okay? Because we also have the second chakra, which is Archangel Ariel. And this card means, you know, creativity and greater comfort with intimacy, okay? Able to, to feel closer to people. Um, feeling more confident, nurturing yourself, finally. Feel like even giving, giving, giving to somebody or giving into that negative aspect of yourself and haven't taken time to nurture, you know, the good qualities of yourself. Um, this, you know, could also indicate new people coming into your life, deeper connections coming your way. Okay, Virgo, um, definitely a, a good energy coming towards you. Um, and then we have community. So all of this could be leading you to you know, you could feel like you're being guided to a new organization, some kind of, um, even just some kind of community event where you can express yourself and your true, your true purpose in life, right? Like you're being guided towards that, sharing your talents. Um, community card can also represent new friends, new relationships. Like I was saying, deeper connections, also some kind of party or celebration. Um, I feel like you're definitely going to be putting yourself out there more because you have more time now. <laughs> you're happier. You're more confident. You have more time. You're attracting new people into your life. That's what I see coming. Once you, you know, clear all this out, whoever this person may be, or if it's yourself or someone from the past that is still sticking around inside of you, things that they said to degrade you, whatever that could be. 
You know, they're starting to kind of piss me off, whoever it is. But <laughs> it's it's time that they need to um, they need to go. This isn't good for you. And you know, and like I said, you could have already decided this for yourself. And you're coming into that period of new realization of who you truly are. Because now you have all this new space to work with within yourself. I'm going to pull a couple here from my Queen of the Moon Oracle deck. Whoops. Okay. Let's see what else Spirit wants you to know or... Wants to clarify, confirm. Let's try this again. Oh. Discernment. Okay. Beautiful. So I feel like one of the qualities that you're you're gonna pick up from going through everything that you did, making those changes, is you're gonna have you're going to know how to use your discernment, okay? You're going to be a really good judge of character, if you, you know, you may already well be. Um, and I feel like you're definitely going to be realizing the difference between your intuition and your ego or that voice in your head that kind of lies to you sometimes. It's, it's, it's that voice that has been conditioned by society or, like I said, negative people in your life. It's that voice that, like... <clears throat> tells you bad things that aren't necessarily true, okay? I'm not saying the ego is is completely bad because the ego does protect you, you know, as a human. We definitely need the ego. But at the same time, it's learning to tune parts of it out and take what you need from the ego. That's it, okay? That should be the ego's only purpose is to protect you when it's absolutely necessary, not to tell you lies that you think are protecting you. God, I don't even know if that made sense. <laughs> I'm sorry. But anyway, you're learning to use your intuition more, okay? You have good you're learning to use your discernment um also in 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 people that you bring into your life. You're realizing there's certain people you want in your life and there's certain people you don't, okay? Because you've been there, done that. Okay. And then the path reversed here. So that could very that could be your past, um, where I had uh, where we mentioned you weren't sure you were afraid to stand up for yourself, um, you weren't sure which direction to go here because you didn't want to hurt someone or you were dependent on this person or whatever. Okay, um, this could also another energy I'm picking up is because once you come out of this storm and you have this whole new realization, you might feel a little confused at first not sure which direction to go next, right? Like you have so many possibilities now that you're not sure which which one is the right path for you, okay? But I feel like spirit is, is saying whatever path you choose here, Virgo, it's going to be okay because you, you did some hard work here, okay? So one of, either one of those paths or what, how many options you have, just go for the one that feels right to your intuition because you're learning to use that more. It's going to feel good, whatever choice you do make, whatever direction, new direction you decide to go in is going to feel right to you, okay? Change. We have the change card. So, like I said, definitely change is, is happening here within you, Virgo. Um, you're getting rid of that toxic energy. Um, oh, hold on one sec. Sorry, my cat was scratching at the door, driving me crazy. Okay, so yeah, change, okay? Um, this is a big change. You, you're you ending something that you've, that's been involved in your life, you've been used to for a long time, and it's coming to an end, okay? This is a good change, though. This is a good thing. Okay, and you're leaving extremes, because it's reversed. So the extremes card is like extreme situations, okay? I feel like this person you've been with, caused or not even been with um who's been involved in your life or it could have been you virgo was causing these extreme highs and lows of emotion frustration they do something that just really irritated you or that voice in your head was really 
bothering you, talking you down. It was just extreme. It was causing extreme emotions, okay? But it's reversed. So what you're coming into is the opposite of that. It's it's calm, it's peaceful, it's new, and it's beautiful. Action. Okay? So I definitely see, even though you might be a little confused where to go after all of this clearing is done, um, you're going to know what to take action towards here. Okay? And, and this also, I'm getting the feeling because it looks just like, Look at all the colors and, and just dancing in the light there and the colors. It's like you going through this huge amount of interaction, right? <laughs> that sounded weird. Okay, action that's within you. There we go. Not interaction, but <laughs> whatever. Um, action within you. A lot of movement and changes within you because we had the door to spirit, right? Deeper understanding of yourself. Possibly a deeper connection to the spirit world. A lot of action and changing going on within yourself here, Virgo. Um, and you're leaving this extreme situation behind. Definitely. Good for you. These ones are kind of hard for me to do my regular shuffle, so I'm just going to pull. These cards are huge. Wow. Wolf, the Pathfinder. Okay, because, I mean, just, I'm going to read this in a minute, but remember how we were saying the path was reversed, so you might be confused on which path to go here um, after, but you're the Pathfinder. You're going to figure this out. Release your past and start a new journey. You are a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. Absolutely beautiful. So I feel like also, because you're, you're, you're becoming a really good judge of character now, okay? And it says you're a teacher and help others find their way. So this might, this could very well be something that you do get led to. Maybe it's something where you help others along their journey, or if they've been in some kind of abusive situation in their life, you have figured out how to speak up, walk away from it and do better for yourself. And maybe that's something that you can help others do as well. Okay. Some kind of, like we said, maybe joining an organization that helps younger people or just anyone going through a situation where they're having a hard time getting out of it or they just need insight or comfort in any way, okay? Um, and then you got the orca. Orca whale adventure. Dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. Attempt the great journey with confidence. Yeah, we got great journey on this one and you got new journey here. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Be brave. You are more powerful than you know. Okay. So what I'm getting also, because it seems, says sing your wild song. Um, maybe you've always wanted to be a singer, you know, maybe you are a musician. Maybe that's something you wanted to pursue. Um, but I feel like you're definitely going to get the creativity and insight to start going, you know, moving towards that. If that's something or, and it says manifest your travel dreams. Maybe you've wanted to travel. Whatever it is, you're going on some kind of new adventure for yourself where you can actually fulfill your dreams because you finally have released um, that ball and chain, if you will, that's been holding you back, okay? And like I said earlier with the second chakra, because, you know, you gain more confidence. You're gaining more confidence. And it says, attempt the great journey with confidence. And that's what you're getting. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasures. Absolutely. So if this is somebody who is in your family, that doesn't mean that you have to cut them off completely and say, I'm never talking to you again, unless, you know, you feel like you need to do that. But if you don't, then you don't. Maybe you just need a break. Okay. You need a break to pursue your dreams. Okay. And you're going to be brave about this. You're going to do this. You got the puffin the puffin partnership except accept yourself and your colorful personality feel confident once again we got confident here 
Um, feel confident about being you. You are a joy bringer. Let your community nourish and protect you. Ask for help. Teamwork will give you the best results. So it says community here and then we've got the community card. So absolutely. Let your community nourish and protect you. I feel like you're definitely going to be putting yourself out there more and you're going to realize how, how many loving people there actually are in the world and that they are here to help you and that people do want to help. Not everybody, but there are loving people and maybe you haven't been exposed to that a lot in your life. Um, you know, sometimes people focus so much on the world as a whole and, and see, gosh, there's so many bad people and we forget to look at the positive things. It's like we focus on the the bad news, the sad stories and and think the entire world is just hopeless. But if you if you were to go on YouTube and type in some some beautiful things, like I just watched something randomly about a man who like went out in the wild and literally just like brought his piano and was playing his piano for an elephant. And the elephant sat there the entire time. I mean, it was just like the most random beautiful video but it like something that simple is absolutely you know shows you that there is beauty in the world and there's so much out there that we you know we're being restricted from seeing because our focus and especially on like the mainstream media is on negative things um but if you dig a little deeper there's a lot of beautiful hope hopeful things going on in the world Sorry, I kind of strayed from your reading there, but maybe that resonated with you as well. So, um, also I've been doing this thing with numbers. I don't, I can't remember if I did it in your last video, Virgo. Um, but what I do is I'm going to sit here for a minute, think of a number and it might resonate, it might be a birthday. It might be just some kind of significant number to you, but you can also type it in on Google and see if, you know, they have angel meanings, spiritual meanings, um, or on YouTube, sometimes you can. And, you know, maybe that message that comes with the number will resonate with you. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to take a minute here and let you know which one comes first. That was pretty quick. So I got 112, 112. Okay. So maybe it's someone's birthday, your birthday is January 12th. Or maybe it's reversed, you know, reverse the numbers, whatever. Or you can type it in on Google or YouTube and see if there's some kind of meaning to that. But it's 112, 112. Okay? All right, Virgo. Thank you so much. I, I really enjoyed this reading. And please let me know if it resonated for you or even if that number resonated because I would love to know. Um, I'd love to know that I am helping. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Bye.